given us once again to call everybody attention to what the Lord has spoken. That's the hardest thing to do. Yes. Is to get people to even listen to what the Lord said. It is much easier to talk about carnal things. Yes, and yes, things about life. I had to do a double take. I'm glad to see my brother, Brother Joe. Glad to see you this afternoon. It's much easier to talk about carnal things, but when you talk about God, yes. you're liable to get cussed out, yes. threatened. Yes. I've been threatened and I've been cussed out and phone lines tapped, FBI coming to church. All of that just because I tell them of the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is the most valuable thing that is in our possession. Yes. And let us remember that it's just lent to us. But while we have it, God knows we're going to make good use of it. Yes. Now, viewers, and you that are here, the clock is ticking towards our international holy convocation. July 14th, come on, there you go, July 14th through the 17th, all of our viewers are welcome to come, regardless of what you believe, where you're from, you never have to write me to tell me what ethnic group you are of, many do that, as if it have meaning, you're a member of the human race, that's good enough. You come on. This is your opportunity to get right with God now because the clock is ticking concerning the coming of the Lord. And things are not getting no better. The young people are dying more rapidly than they ever were. And the word of God is being preached hard. Falling around the world hard. And I'm thankful for the eyes of many thousands that are coming open. One thing I see is not falling in vain. Nowhere is the word of God falling in vain. God has given us a testimony that in every city, in every state, in every country, every village, every continent where this message is falling, we literally have results. That's true. Think of it. Every city, every town, every country, every continent. That's a rare testimony. Oh, yes. that is true. But wherever the truth of God goes, I want you to hear me good. For God made us a fisherman. Taught us how to dig up the worms out the earth. And uh, he had baited my hook with some nice, thick, fat, juicy scriptures. <laughs> Amen. Full of scripture. And we caught all kinds. You know, maybe it's so about it all kinds. I received a beautiful text message from Pastor Mars from New Guinea. More ministers came to walk with the word of God. They are coming out of the Baptists and Methodists. And I don't mean ministers are coming by themselves. They're coming with their entire congregations. Amen. Nobody but God. Minister sent the text message to me. He did a short video from the island of Fiji, if I'm not mistaken, uh -huh. either the island of Fiji or the Samoan Islands. He said, this message to Pastor Jennings. He went in his pocket, he said, this is my minister credential from the United Pentecostal Church. He said, I'm not no longer part of that devil movement. He said, in fact, he said, wait a minute, you got a match? He said, I'm burning my license. Yeah. And he burnt it. Okay. 
He said after listening to the truth of God, he realized he was taught lies. Imagine being lied to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Imagine all the money you, you, you had if you can get it back. You know, when you leave these false churches, you ought to make them give you your money back. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You'll have some money, wouldn't you? Glory to God. Want a refund? Why? The product is broken. Product, thank God, it wouldn't work. So it's a blessing. Um, to all the brothers and sisters throughout Europe, I would be in Europe now. In fact, I think I would either be in the Netherlands, Scotland, or Ireland by now. But uh, many of you are asking, is my daughter doing better? She's doing better, but she's still sore and whatnot. But at least she's alive. That's a blessing. Now to all the brothers and sisters that are watching baptisms that will take place in your area, please go to our church website and uh, you will be clearly updated of the baptisms that are taking place in your area. San Antonio, Texas, June 19th at the Best Western Rolling Inn, 333 Rolling Road. San Antonio, Texas, that's June 19th, Sunday evening from 6 to 9 p.m. Our contact number is 832-559-0479. And uh, Yakuma, Washington, at June 18th, at Cahylan Park, 2168 South 18th Street, Union Gap, Washington. That's the state of Washington. Uh, contact number 503-710-4944. Now, if I go too fast, Remember, whenever we do a live webcast, it's automatically recorded on YouTube. So once it go off, go to YouTube, and uh, you can hear these dates and times again. Melbourne, Australia, Cyprus Community Function Center, 100 Forest Street, at uh, Ardair, Victoria, 3022. That's June the 17th. In Melbourne, Australia, Cyprus Community Function Center, 100 Forest Street. You can contact, contact number 040-2533-520. 040-2533-520. That's in Melbourne, Australia. Braxton, London, June 18th, 5 uh, Allocare Street, London, England. You can contact Minister Winston at 079-681-20273. Uh, Greenville, Grenada. Uh -huh. Wonderful. La Quara Sanctuary, Gladstone Road, June 18th. Between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., you can contact Pastor Mitchell, 473-44-25-375. Back in America again, here in this wicked country. Louisville, Kentucky, June 17th, 6535 Paramount Park Drive at the Comfort Suites Airport. Contact number 3136, or rather 3649385, Richmond, Virginia, June 18th, four points by Sheraton, 4700, South Laburnum Avenue, contact Minister Large, 984 800 4938, Omaha, Nebraska, Cambria Hotel, downtown, 740 North 14th Street. This is all taking place on uh, 17th, which is a Friday evening from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., 313-364-9385. Go to the church website yeah. where you can get all the information of baptisms and you can get your old wicked soul straightened out. Yeah. All right, let me update you what baptisms we have. This is another week's report as we give you every week, nine in headquarters, one in Pine Bush, New York, two in Bronx, New York, 
One in New Brunswick, New Jersey, one in Delmar, Delaware, three in Baltimore, one in Newport News, one in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, ten in Raleigh, North Carolina, two in Florence, South Carolina, two in Columbia, South Carolina, three in Augusta, Georgia, six in Atlanta, Georgia, one in Mobile, Alabama, two in Tallahassee, Florida, one in Lafayette, Louisiana, one in Portland, Oregon, 18 in Las Vegas, Nevada, two in Los Angeles, California, Two in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Fifteen in Minneapolis. Forty-six in Columbus, Ohio. One in Houston, Texas. One in Fort Worth, Texas. Fourteen in Umbrella, Texas. International baptisms. Four in Toronto, Canada. Seven in Liberia. Weeks total, 157 souls. How many places can you go to where hundreds are going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ every week and receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost? The devil is doing everything in his power to try to convince folk that this is not of God, but Jesus taught us that you will know that tree by the fruit it bears. <laughs> I find it amazing that a lot of these men that's talking don't even have a tree. Never mind fruit. And if you got a tree and shake it, thank God nothing fall out. But this tree that we're under, glory to God. It's the tree of life here. In other words, it's God himself. So we are thankful for a Bible message. And remember this, you hard-head watchers. A holy message will give you holy results. Every time. Now, you can't make me believe otherwise when I read the, uh, Jesus and his apostles every place the apostles went with that holy message given to them by the Spirit in the body of the Messiah Christ Jesus, they got results everywhere. That's true. I got until they went in one place until the people had to cry out, we got to stop these men. Yeah. We got to stop them. Why? For they turned the world, hallelujah, upside down. Amen. Yeah, that's what this is doing. Glory to God. Every place it goes, every city, Every country, the gospel is just bringing in the South Pacific, all out there near Japan. The islands of the South Pacific just coming in, congregations, pastors, pastors crying out, they want to be baptized over. In the name of Jesus Christ, in New Guinea, Singapore, the Singapore congregation, I want to greet all the brothers and sisters there in the Philippines. They gather together every time we webcast. Amen. One of the brothers took a short video of the Singapore congregation. Had a nice size screen and everybody was sitting there, pastor and everybody, watching the message. Looked like they was out there in the forest. But they got some, they got some current out there. Watching. Hallelujah. Glory. Watching this message. Got another video from Malaysia. Watching the message. So viewers, this, one scripture says, this is the message. And it is. And it's the message for the last days. Oh, yeah. Holiness or hell. Yeah. Nothing in between. Go on, say, what about the blessing plan? I got a blessing for you. Yeah. It's all wrapped in holy teaching. Wonderful. And uh, the greatest blessing that you will get in this life is the information of God for the correction of self. And the greater blessing that you will obtain after this life is New Jerusalem. Amen. That the apostle saw come down from God out of heaven. And it was prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The city lieth four square. The length, the breadth, and the height thereof is all equal. One part is 144 cubits and another part... It's 12,000 furlongs. There are 12 gates there. Blessed be the name of God. Uh, with the name uh, of the 12 apostles, 12 foundations. Name, blessed be God, 
of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. It says, of the Lamb. I let you know Paul's name ain't there. That's too deep for you fellas. What you mean of the lamb? That means those that was chosen where he was here in the flesh, lamb of God. That's right. Paul wasn't there then. That's right. <laughs> hey, Paul wasn't there then. That's right. Thank God when Paul came along, the spirit stepped out the lamb. Left the lamb hanging there on the cross. Only thing was left of the lamb was flesh and bone. They placed the lamb, bless God, down in the grave. While the shepherd of the lamb was preaching for three days and three nights. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The shepherd that came out, the lamb got back in it. Because the lamb lost its blood on the cross. And life had to come from somewhere. Amen. So the shepherd took the place of the blood and when the spirit got in the body the body was still called lamb of God but now it was a glorified lamb hallelujah hey, no longer a lamb according to the natural now he's lamb according to the spirit do you get what I'm telling got the same shape got the same form Got the same fashion, but he don't have no blood. Well, how is he living? Paul said, in that he liveth, he liveth by the power of God. That's how he's living now. All, hallelujah, say God. All by the Spirit. That's how he's living. That's right. That's why he come on in the church now, comforter. Comforter. Mm -hmm. That's why now, in order to get in the church, you better give me the epistle of John just dropped on me. Amen. Epistle of John dropped on me. I want to talk about how to get in the church. And I want to throw this at you. To get in God's church, you got to have the Father and the Son. <laughs> I said to get in the church, you got to have the Father and the Son. I want to say, oh, I told you he believed in Trinity. Oh, no. No Trinity here. It's just that script is too deep for you. In order to have the Father, you got to go know the nature of the Father. That's right. In order to have the Son, you got to know the nature of the Son. All right, let's split the scriptural atoms. Second John. And dig into the molecules. That's right. And strip it and make it bare. That's right. All right, Williams, follow me. Now, get this. Second John, chapter... One at verse All right, nine. let's turn both of us up back there. Both of us just just blast it real good back there. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Get yeah. me in with him. Just uh, come on in the volume of the book. That's right. All right, let's have it. Second John chapter one and we're at verse nine. Begin at verse eight. I want to strip it apart because uh, several people was writing me, not many, and saying one one man wrote me say he visited a church down in Mississippi. A preacher used to be with us. And the preacher kept convincing him that there's no mysteries in the Bible. Oh, how hell deserving. How hell deserving that is. If there are no mysteries in the Bible, that would make the Bible a very common, ordinary book. That's right. There are mysteries all in the Bible. And without controversy. Listen at the Bible. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. And, and after you get that, you better give me either Mark, Matthew, Luke, or John. Let's see what Jesus told his apostles was given to them. Right. And then that are without was not given. That's right. Uh -huh. And then I want the mystery of iniquity. Right. Uh -huh. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All right. And without controversy. No use talking. Without controversy. Without any conversation. Great. Great. Is the mystery of godliness. Yeah. Don't right. tell me there ain't no mysteries in the Bible. Amen. Someone say, well, that says great the mystery of godliness. It didn't say great the mystery of the Bible. The things that are godly is in the Bible. That's right. When it says great is the mystery of godliness, that means great is the mystery of God's doing. That's right. God's performances. I mean, though you just can't by your own Colonel, little sheep, good for nothing, uh, understanding, That's just right. understand God. No. Don't you hear the Bible said the world by wisdom, no, not God, but to please God. By the foolishness of preaching to save them 
that believe. It's a mystery that God was manifested in the flesh, and yet God is not flesh. That's right. That's right. That's a mystery. That's right. God was manifested in the flesh, and yet God is not flesh. That's right. The flesh wasn't God. The flesh was the prophet. Right. The flesh was the Messiah. The flesh was the minister. The flesh was the sacrifice that would die for you and I. And because of the death of the flesh, I'm able to preach him today. That's right. Hell, right. It's the mystery of godliness. Hallelujah. It's the mystery of godliness. That's right. And you tell me that's ordinary? Ordinary. That's ordinary? Uh, you don't know what you're talking. He told his apostles, it is given unto you to know the mystery. It's given to you. And these fellow walk around and say, it ain't no mysteries in the Bible. No, listen, even the colonel mind write mystery stories. And you'll find the wicked will say, that's a mystery. I, 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 I don't know how they're going to play out. And they get so deep into the book, they can't wait to get to the end. Now, if the colonel mind can come up with a mystery, do you think the colonel mind is more deeper than God? Here is God Almighty had a teaching. And he gave that teaching to men and made them students and then appointed them to be apostles, which are ambassadors of God's word, ambassadors of the spirit of God, ambassadors of spirit and letter. They are ambassadors of spirit and letter. The spirit of God moved on them to preach the letter. And while Jesus was in the flesh teaching them, they, they, they couldn't get it. They couldn't get it. Why? It was a mystery to them. So he had to die and come on back after his resurrection. Then he said, then open he their understanding. If what he was teaching wasn't a mystery, then their understanding don't need to be open. But he told them that God has given unto you to know it, to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. But then he said, unto them that are without. It's not given. Then another place he said, unto them that are without, all things are done and parables. What you mean, Jesus? To them that don't have it, I, I have to make a lot of parables. In Matthew chapter 13. I got to break it down to the lowest common denominator because even David said such knowledge is too high. Too high for me. I can't attain it. That's right. And here these old blind man bluffs come along. It ain't no mysteries in the Bible. You's a fool. That's right. Listen Ma at this. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. You mean to tell me no mysteries in the Bible? Look at the prophet Jeremiah. He said, I beheld the earth. And lo, it was without form and void. And, void. and the heavens had no light. That's a mystery. Because right. by the time that man was born, heaven was here. That's earth right. was here. And the light of the universe was here. I beheld the earth. Do you hear this? Jeremiah 4 and verse 23. I looked at the earth. And lo, lo it, was with, it was without form. I saw the earth and what? It was without form. Now when God showed me the earth, no life was on it. It was without form. It was without form. And void. There was no life. And the heavens. And the heavens. And they had no life. It's God took Jeremiah back before he made man. That's right. Let him see the planet earth before any living thing was on it. That's right. Thank God they God took Jeremiah back, back. and let him see before he separated light from darkness. Huh? That's right. That's right. Amen. He said, "What? I beheld the earth. I beheld the earth, and lo, it no, was without form. No life was there, and void, and it was void. And the heavens, and the heavens, and they had no life. Glory to God. That's a mystery there. Matthew thirteen and verse eleven. That's what he answered and said unto them. He answered and said to them, because it is given unto you. Oh yes. Amen. Oh yes. Talking to his apostles. That's right. It's given. Hallelujah. It is given, given unto, unto you, you to know the to mysteries." Know it. To know it. To know the mysteries. Wait a minute. To know what? To know the mysteries. Not one mystery. Mysteries. <laughs> Not one mystery. Mysteries. It was a mystery in the days of Daniel Hallelujah. when the writing came on the wall, meaning, meaning to kill you foster. That's right. It was such a mystery to the child day and the soothsayers and the astrologers and the magicians couldn't see it. That's right. Let Daniel be called. That's right. Amen. When Daniel called and saw the writing, even he was stuck. Amen. 
for one hour. For one hour. And then God made it known to him. That's right. Let the king know that your kingdom is number. Yes. You weighed in the balance and found yeah. wanted. That's right. Amen. So you mean to tell me this divine book that's divinely inspired. Yeah. A man who don't have the mystery. Yeah. Will say this, there is no mysteries here. That's right. Yeah? That's when right. you don't have the mystery, you will say this, don't, there's no mysteries in the book. That's right. You, you listen. That's why the colonel mind can't see the things of God. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Matthew 20 and 19. Yeah. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's a mystery. If it wasn't a mystery, and everybody that got everybody. baptized would have the right baptism. That's right. I wouldn't have to baptize nobody over again. That, that's right. Hey! That's right. Glory to God. Because it is given unto you. Do you hear what Jesus said? Give chapter and verse again. St. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. What? He answered and said unto them. He answered and said to them. Because him. it is given unto you. Wait a minute. How you got to give it? It is given oh. unto you. <laughs> it has to be given. Oh, given. praise the name of God. That's right. Of that's right. It has to be given to you. That's right. When you don't have it, you will declare there is none. Yeah. Because it's not given to you. That's right. What he said? Because it is given unto you. It's given unto you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them. To them, to it, them, to them, to them. It is not given. They don't have it. That's right. That's why they think of the Trinity. That's right. They read God, they read Baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. They read the epistle of John, that three that be erected in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost needs three in one. Right. That's a mystery. Mysteries. Why? They, when Jesus down here praying and looking up and saying, Father! Yeah. Right then they start counting Jesus one, Father two. That's mystery. right. Mystery. Jesus get baptized down in joy and then come straight away out of the water. Holy Ghost come descending as a dove. Then a voice comes from heaven. This is my beloved son. That's right. Home on well, P, when, please, when you don't have the mystery, Jesus one, dove two, voice three. Trinity. Right. What? It's a mystery. Mystery. Mystery is that which is not ordinary, but it's extraordinary. Because it is given Glory unto you. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's given unto you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of if heaven. If you show me a church that don't have the mystery, I'll show you a church that's just doing nothing. That's right. When you, that's why the Bible says that it might be made known to the church. The manifold, that means much wisdom. That's right. The manifold wisdom of God. The church is blessed today. Oh, yes. Amen. God give us wisdom and then Hallelujah. give us the mystery. Why you think the Bible is called the last book, Revelation? That's right. If there's no mystery, how can you have a book called Revelation? That's right. Revelation means that which is revealed. That's right. That which has to be made known. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. If there's no mystery, then tell me who is the Antichrist that shall rise from the water? From the waters. That's right. What is his name? That's right. Huh? That's right. And go That's right. If there's no mystery, there's no mystery. If there's no mystery, what date, what time, what year will Jesus come? That's right. If there's no mystery. That's right. Because he said, look up, hallelujah, for your redemption draw nigh. Draw nigh. That's right. For it to go. Because it is given unto you. If there's no mystery, John, the, the, the apostle Paul said, I heard that excellent voice yeah. that spoke from heaven. Yes. But then when he gave his testimony to King Agrippa, he said, they that was with me didn't hear the voice. Didn't hear the voice. But then in another place, he said, they that were with me heard the voice. That's right. So which is it? That's right. Give me that ninth chapter of the book of Acts. Of Acts. Quickly now. Yes. And then let's get when he brought the testimony to King Agrippa. Yes. Hey Amen. You see, the mystery has to be given. And when these men tell you there's no mystery, they have lied they on lie. the Bible and have made the Bible an everyday com common storybook. That's right. And if you, if the scriptures is an everyday common storybook, there ain't no need for us to have it. Yeah. Then it wouldn't be God's word. It wouldn't be God's word. Because God's word makes us and teaches us to do that which is uncommon. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, love your enemy. You won't do that on your own. Oh, no. 
Jesus said, love them that despitefully use you. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's uncommon. That's uncommon. That's uncommon. That's no, right. no, 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 no. That's right. Pray for them. Uh, if, you, if we left it to us, we'll pray that you kill them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Who oh, will take God? That's right. What do you say, William? Acts chapter 9 and we're at verse 7. All right, I want to take the mystery apart about Paul's journey, and then we'll go back to the foundation of the message. Amen. Come on, Williams. Acts chapter 9, we'll start at verse 6. Yes. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord. Here you have Brother Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of God Milia, who was a Pharisee, a doctor of the law, who taught Brother Paul according to the perfect manner of the law. Yeah. All right. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord. Lord. What wilt thou have me to do? A voice spoke from heaven. That's right. That's right. And said, Saul, Saul, give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 9, we'll start in verse 3. All right. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. He came near Damascus. And suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. Ah. Uh, suddenly. A light shined from heaven. And he fell to the and earth. And it was above that's the right. brightness of the sun. That's right. You know, that's some light. That's some light. Oh, yeah. When you can outshine the sun. Oh, yes. That's some light. That's right. And, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And what? And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him. Heard a voice. A voice. One. That's right. A voice. Just one stopped him. That's right. One That's right. shined on him. One talked to him. That's right. Just one. Amen. And what did the one say? Saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why oh, persecutest so. thou me? Why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? L O R D. That's right. And, and who the, did the Lord declare himself to be? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus, the second person of the Godhead. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. No, I'm Jesus, the second person. Of the Godhead. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus, God's Who? little helper. And the Lord said, I am no, Jesus. No, 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 I am Jesus, the helper of the, God, of the Lord. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. The Lord. The Lord. Notice that. That's right. The Lord. The Lord. Psalm 103. Quick. Know ye the Lord. Do you know him? That he is God. I want you to know who he is. That, that's right. Psalms 100 and verse 3. You know, when I came up there, they used to say, uh, they're called a chapter in Psalm, they call it division. The division of Psalms. One well, division of Psalms. That's right. There ain't no division, just chapter and verse. That's all. <laughs> that's right. Psalms 100 and verse 3. Know ye that the Lord. Know ye. Amen. That the Lord. He. He. Is God. And who stopped, uh, who told Paul who he was? And the Lord. Wait a minute. And who? And the Lord. And who? And the Lord. And what did David say? Know ye that the Lord. Who is it? He is God. And what's the name of the Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. That's why I preach Jesus Christ is God. That's right. Only one up there. That's right. Oh, it take God. One. Just one up there. That's it. Amen. I can thunder it loud as I want, and amen, nothing nobody can do about it, you know. That's right. All right, I want to show you the mystery when God stopped Brother Saul, and then after Saul was stopped, later on, he went and gave this testimony to King Agrippa. That's and right. And listen at the language of the Bible. Listen real good. Acts chapter 9, now we're at verse 5. I want all my viewers to hear the old troublemaker, any preacher, I don't care whether he's in America or out, tell you there are no mysteries in the Bible. He's a child of Satan. That's He's right. the devil's seed. Oh, yes. Because even the devil got a mystery even tied to him. That's right. The Bible talk about the mystery of iniquity. Of iniquity. Doeth already work. And whomsoever will let it work. In 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 7. Says what? For the mystery of iniquity. There ain't no mysteries in the Bible. The mystery of iniquity. There ain't no mysteries in the Bible. For the mystery of iniquity. Paul chapter and verse. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 7. That's a book in the Bible. That's right. What is it? For the mystery of iniquity. The mystery of wickedness. Doeth already work. It's already in action. Only he who now let it will let. Only he that will give in to it will let it. Until he be taken Until out of the way. Until he take him out of the way. That's right. All right, let's finish up, Brother Paul. Now, I want to itemize this. I want everybody to hear me so I can educate you. And you can shout by 3 o'clock if it be God will. Now, in Acts chapter <laughs> 9 and verse 5. All right. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus the whom Lord thou persecutest. The Lord said, persecute. I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. It is hard for 
for thee to kick against the brick. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? He trembling and astonished and said, Lord, in other words, Jesus, what you want, what you want from me? And the, Jesus. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Hey, Jesus. Yeah. The Lord, already, the Lord said, I'm Jesus. I'm so, Jesus. Jesus! Yeah. What wilt thou have me to do? What you, want, what you want out of me? And the Lord said unto him, Arise. Get up. And go into the city, go and it shall the be city. told and, thee. And, 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 I got someone down what there. What thou must do. What you got to do. And the men which journeyed with him. I want you to hear this. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 9. Now we're at verse 7. The men. And the men which journeyed with him. That journey with them. Stood speechless. They were speechless. Hearing a voice. Hey. Amen. They heard a voice, a voice, but seeing no man. They didn't see nobody. That's right. Come on, kid. Come on. Now remember that. That's right. Give okay, chapter and verse. Acts chapter 9 and verse 7. Says what? And the men which journeyed with the him. The men that was journeying with me. Stood speechless. They were speechless. Hearing a voice. They heard a voice. But seeing no man. But they saw. No man. No man. That's right. Now, after Paul was made an apostle, he took this testimony to his former leader. That's right. Ole Agrippa. Ole Agrippa. Who he used to work for. Yes. He took his testimony that. That's right. Listen at this real good. Acts chapter 22, now we're at verse 7. Follow me. I want to put you between the mystery oh, yeah. of That's two right. scriptures. That's right. Uh -huh. Acts chapter 22, we'll start at verse 7. All right. And I fell unto the ground and heard a voice saying unto me. Wait, 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 wait. I fell to the ground and heard a voice and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest Said thou to me? Saul, Saul, why are you giving me trouble? Right. And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus. He said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. Whom thou persecutest. Whom you persecute. Acts chapter 22, now we're at verse 9. Listen. And they that were with me. Listen, Paul's still giving his testimony to King Agrippa. That's right. They, they that, that were with me. were with me. Saw indeed the light. They saw the light. And were afraid. And were scared. But they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. But they didn't hear the voice. And they heard not the voice that spake to me. He told Agrippa they didn't hear it. That's right. But when it happened in the ninth chapter, what happened? And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice. But and when he told Agrippa, what did he say? But they heard not the voice. And the ninth chapter, what did he say? Hearing a voice. And that Agrippa, what did he say? But they heard not the voice. All right, let's get the mystery. Which is it? Come on. Which, Come on. Which is it? Come on, Jay. Come on. Because the Bible don't contradict itself. That's right. Give me Jesus when he prayed. That's right. And it thundered. Yes. Yeah. Amen. They heard the voice. That's right. And then it said they didn't hear it. So what happened? That God, you, got to, you got to have someone that God sent to come right between Scripture with the mystery of Scripture and make, make not hearing and hearing harmonize. Make hearing and not hearing harmonize. Now, when they that was with Paul heard the voice, but saw no man, that means they heard the sound. But the message wasn't to his followers, them that journey with them. No, it was to one man. Remember, it was God that told Paul, I have appeared to thee, not I appeared to them. That's right. I appeared to thee, thee. to make thee a minister. I'm not making them one. That's right. I'm making you one. That's right. So what I say to you, it works out. Yeah. They just going to hear the sound. Right. So when it said they didn't hear the voice, that means they couldn't make out what was said from the sound. That's right. That's what that is. That's what that is. Let me give you better clarity. That's right. Let's see what happened to Jesus now. St. John chapter 12. Follow me. Hear me. Hear Amen. me good. I want to take you to Bible school now. That's right. Listen. St. John chapter 12. We'll start at verse 26. Here's another scripture that deals with the mystery. Yes. God was manifested in the flesh. Yeah. In other words, God came in the flesh. Not that God was flesh. No. 
He put on flesh like I put on my suit. That's right. So I can have something to preach in. That's right. The Spirit of God put on flesh That's right. so the Spirit can have something to preach in. That's right. So you can see the handiwork of God. Yeah. Experience the miracle work of God. Yes. Experience God's pattern. God example that he wants the world to follow. That's right. And he couldn't do it the way he was spirit. So he come along and put on flesh so folks can identify what's going on. That's right. Amen. He didn't take on the nature of angels because he had that nature on already. already. For the nature of angels is spirit. For the Bible says he didn't take on the nature of angels, but he took on the seed of Abraham, seed of Abraham. that it might be made likened unto his brethren. Right. The seed of Abraham consists of flesh and blood. That's right. So when the Bible said God was manifested in the flesh, flesh that means the spirit of God got in the flesh. That's right. And when the spirit got in the flesh, the flesh took on. And took upon him the form of a servant. Wait a minute. When he got in the flesh, what did he do? And took upon him the form. Oh, he got in flesh. He got a merry body. And then he created a body in her body. And the thing that he created was called son. And the son was the form. And then the spirit got in it. And when he got in it, he took it on. That's right. And when he took it on, Mary became the mother of the form. That's right. But Mary was not the mother of the spirit that made the form. That's right. That's right. Are you getting me? And took upon him the form what of a servant. What was in the form was Mary's father. That's right. What Mary would birth was Mary's son. That's right. Yeah. That's I it. I want to take God. I said what got in Mary and overshadowed her, Hallelujah. that was Mary's father. That's right. Because that's the Holy Ghost. Yes. The Bible says, have we not all one father? One father. Have not one God created us? That's right. So the thing that created that flesh in Mary was the father. That's was right. Jehovah, was Hallelujah. God, was the Spirit. The thing that Mary birthed was Messiah, was Son, was Lamb, yeah. was sacrifice. That's right. Oh, yeah. Are you getting what I'm talking about? That's right. Oh, take God. All right, son. Back in St. John chapter 12, we're at verse 27. Let's get this other mystery here. Now to give you a better understanding what happened to them that were journeying with Brother Paul. St. John chapter 12, we're at verse 27. All right. Now is my soul troubled. Yeah. Amen. Son of man talking here. That's right. By the Spirit. Now is my soul troubled. Now my soul, hallelujah, is troubled. And what shall I say? What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. Father, Spirit. That's right. Deliver me. From this hour. What do you mean? Flesh talking. That's right. Because he, he left us an example. Yeah. Showing us we get the same way. That's right. That's right. We get fed up. That's right. We don't want to go through stuff. That's right. We start asking God, just deliver me. That's right. Get me out of this thing. <laughs> That's right. Please, hallelujah. Make a change. That's right. Hallelujah. Father, save me. Make a change. That's right. When he came and took on flesh, he left an example showing the world that he can identify with your emotions. That's right. He took on flesh. And then so he can show the world, you can't put nothing over on me. That's right. I can identify with your emotions. That's right. I'm going to create circumstances yeah. for the flesh. That's right. Where the flesh will feel the same way you're going to feel. Yeah. I'm going to let it hang on the cross. Yeah. And then let it pray. Oh, yeah. And then let it feel forsaken. That's right. Like I'm nowhere around. That's right. And then show you what to do when you feel forsaken. Go ahead. To do like the flesh did. Go ahead. Not my will. But let thine will be done. That's right. Hallelujah. Hey, for the same. He me. left us an example. Go ahead. Oh, and take God that we should follow his steps. That's right. Uh -huh. Now is my soul troubled. What? Now is my soul now, troubled. Oh, and take God is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? What I'm going to say. Father, save me from this hour. Yeah, I want you to pay attention now. That's right. The flesh is praying to the spirit. That's right. The Son of God never prayed to his flesh. No. No! Because the flesh profited nothing. That's right. The Son of God, which is the mediator, which is the man part of him, That's right. which is the prophet, which is the apostle, yeah. which is the minister, because the minister serves the Spirit. That's right. The Spirit of God left a pattern, yeah. an example. It was a fleshy body with many members showing you that he going to have a church that's one like his body, but many members. That's right. And just like his physical body had to thrive off the spirit, the church, which is the body of Christ, yeah. had to thrive and function 
Who will take God off the spirit? That's right. Do you see what I'm talking? Father, save me from this hour. Father! Save me from this hour. God, save me. Amen. From this hour. But for this cause. For this cause. Came I unto this hour. Came I. Wait a minute. Save me from this hour. Mm -hmm. But for this cause. Came I unto this hour. I came to this hour because prophecy brought me here. That's right. I'm confronted. With an hour. That's right. That prophecy brought. That's right. Prophecy said. That's right. They pissed my hands and my feet. My feet. Let the habitation be desolate. And let no one dwell there in their tents. That's right. Prophecy said, I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will take the sting from death and get victory over the grave. That's right. He was up against prophecy. That's right. You know, sometimes you want to get out of scriptural will. Oh, yeah. Until you try to pray your way out of it. Oh, yes. And just like God didn't answer that flesh and grant that flesh permission. That's right. He ain't going to grant permission to the church. That's right. Huh? That's right. Come on, son. Father, save me from this hour. Deliver me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. So you don't lose the thought I want to show you the full broader meaning how when those that came with Saul heard the voice and another scripture say they didn't hear it and I'm telling you they heard the sound but they didn't understand the message because the message wasn't for all of the ones that was traveling with Paul it was only for Paul and I'm going to show you the same thing that happened to Jesus before Paul got here. In St. John chapter 12 now we're at verse 28. Follow me and get the mystery now. Father glorify thy name. Glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven. What? Then came there a voice from heaven. Oh, thank God. Do you get it? Then came there. Then came there a voice from heaven. From heaven. From heaven. Saying. Saying. I have both glorified it. I have have glorified it. And will glorify it again. Hold it. Oh, we'll take God. Amen. Huh? Amen. What, the, what did the Son of Man ask the Spirit, the Father, to do? Father, glorify thy name. What? Father, glorify. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Glorify what? Thy name. Who name? Thy, Father, glorify thy name. Who name? Thy name. Come on, God. Oh. Come on. Come on. Just hold <laughs> Father. Hallelujah. Glorify the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said, I come, I come, I come, in my Father's name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to Thy name. Glory to thy name. Father, glorify thy name. Huh? And he said, I come in my father's in name. My father's name. I come in the name of him that sent me. That's right. I come in the name of the Spirit. That's right. I come in the Lord's name. That's right. I come. That's right. In the name of God. Go ahead. I come in the name of the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I come. (laughs) Glory to God. That's why he commanded the apostles. In my name. Go ahead. Shall you cast out devils. That's right. In my name. name. Shall you lay hands on the sick. That's right. In my name. (laughs) Glory to God. (laughs) In my name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Go ahead. ahead. Hallelujah. Father, Father, glorify, glorify thy name, thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven. Wait a minute. Then they heard what? Then came there a voice Praise hallelujah from heaven. God. Hallelujah. They heard a voice. A voice from heaven. That's just like the followers of them that traveled with Paul. Hallelujah. They heard a voice. Then came there a voice from heaven. Here come Jesus. That's right. Son of man. Hallelujah. That body. You see, the church, we hear the voice from heaven. That's right. He said he manifests his word through preaching. Through preaching. That's right. Do you hear what he says? Then came there a voice from heaven. Then came there a voice. A voice from heaven. From heaven. Saying. Saying. I have both glorified it. Now hold it. The spirit is talking to the son of man. That's right. I have both glorified glorified it. it. Hold it. Past tense. Past tense. 
I already glorified it. That's right. In other words, I already exalted it. That's right. Because I gave you a name. That's right. Above, above. all other names. That's right. I have glorified it. I have both glorified it. I already it. exalted it. And we I already made it higher than any other name in the universe. That's right. Huh? That's right. I have glorified it. I have both glorified Glory it. Glory to God. Pass. Pass. Then what? And we'll glorify it again. Hold it. When I glorified it in the past, yeah. that was before you were walking around in a human body. That's right. I'm going to glorify it again. Again. I'm going to glorify it while you're here, and I'm going to glorify it after you're dead. That's right. Because I got to keep my people functioning That's right. under my name. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I have both glorified it. I have both glorified it. And will glorify it again. I will glorify it again. The people, therefore, that stood by Wait, and heard it. Now, they heard, we heard the voice, what it said to Jesus. Right. But the people. The people, therefore, that stood just by and like heard it. like them that traveled with Paul. The people. Therefore, that stood by and heard it. That stood by and heard it. Said that it thundered. <laughs> yeah. Amen. To them, they didn't hear exactly what the Spirit told that flesh. That's right. All they heard was what? Said that it thundered. To them, it was just thundering. That's right. Just sound. That's right. Rolling through the heavens. Others said. Others said. An angel spake to well, him. Well, we don't even know whether it was thunder. Perhaps it was angels just talking to him. Jesus answered. Jesus said. And said, This voice. Ha! Ah. This voice came not because of me. It didn't come because of me. But for your sake. It came for your sake. Now is the judgment. What you of... mean for your sake so you can believe? That's right. That's right. It came for your sake. For your sake. So you can believe. That's it. But that was it. It was such a mystery until they got one said angels. The other said thunder. to them they heard thunder. Thunder. Because the message wasn't to them. That's right. It was to the Son of Man. That's right. Them that traveled with Paul, the message was not to them. That's right. It was to Paul. Right. God was making him an apostle. That's it. Over to God and sent him, amen, to the Gentiles. That's right. To reel them in. And I in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 51. Real quick. Behold, I show you a mystery. What? Behold, I show you a mystery. Well, these men tell you there are no mysteries in the Bible. Don't even, they're not preachers. That's right. No. What are, what are they doing? They are admitting they can't show you something. That's right. They can't show you what's in the book. That's the it. The mystery is the deep things of the book. That's right. Huh? Behold, I show look now. I look show now. you a mystery. I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. The very coming of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of the dead is a mystery. That's right. It ain't common that dead people get up at the sound of no voice. No. Come on, ain't common. Come on. And when you come up, you ain't got no blood. That's right. That's right. Because the doctors drain all that out. That's right. And then you change. <laughs> That's right. From mortal to immortality. And you say there ain't no mystery. I show you a mystery. I want to show you one. That we shall not all sleep. Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall not all sleep. But we shall all be changed. What? In a, we shall all be changed. Wait a minute. This all come under the heading mystery. of the mystery, mystery that the apostle want to show you. That's right. Mystery one, we shall not all sleep. But we shall all be changed. Mystery two, we're going to be changed. In a moment. Mystery three, the quickness of the change in, in the moment. In the twinkling of an eye. Because you can blink your eye. At the last trump. At the last voice. For the trumpet shall sound. Hold it. That don't mean a horn. The trump is the voice of God. That's right. The trump of God is the voice of God. That's right. Huh? That don't mean that an angel will come. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. No, no. The trump is God's voice. That's right. Like the preacher, God sent him to blow a trumpet. Yeah. Give me Isaiah, Isaiah real quick. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. 58 chapter, book of Isaiah, chapter 1. Isaiah chapter That's what got my mouth so loud. That's right. There's a trumpet. Hallelujah. Yeah. Down within my soul. Go ahead, brother. That caused me and moved me to preach the gospel. To every creature. That's right. Over to God which is under heaven. There's a trumpet down in there. That's right. Did you hear what he said? Isaiah chapter 58 and at verse 1. All right, son. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up thy voice. How? Like a trumpet. Yeah. 
You know, a trumpet is a wake-up call. Hallelujah. It wakes you up. That's right. Interrupts your sleep. That's right. Lift up your voice as a trumpet and do what? And show my people their transgression. Show them how wicked they are in the house of Jacob. Their sin. All right, son, let's go back to where we are. Let's go back to the epistle of John. That's right. I want to break down the new birth under the heading of having the father and the son. That's right. And there ain't no two gods. No. There ain't no little Jesus up there with big Jehovah. That's no. right. Eh? That's right. It's a mystery here about father and son. And yeah. son. You have to know the nature of father, and you have to know the natural life that made that body a natural son. That's right. All right, Williams, what you have? Second John chapter 1, we'll start at verse 8. Quick now. Look to yourselves. We done we... covered so much territory in this at the time. That's right. I want, I want to cram your grams with Bible. That's right. All right. Second John chapter 1 and we're at verse 8. Uh -huh. Look to yourselves. What? Look to yourselves. Look to yourselves. That we lose not those things which we have wrought. That we lose not those things that we perform. But that we receive a full reward. That we get a full reward. Whosoever transgresseth, whoever sins, and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ. Notice. Whoever sin and don't stay in the doctrine of Christ. In scriptural order. See, if it says don't stay in the doctrine of Christ, that means you're not consistent right. in abiding by the regulations of Christ that he implemented to govern the church. That's right. Listen at this again. Whosoever transgresseth, whoever sin. And abideth not. And don't stay. Not in, get in and out. Right. When you're in and out, of course you're transgressing. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you're in and out, that means you obey sometime, you disobey sometime, you obey sometime, you disobey sometime. That's, That's right. some transgressions being committed. That's right. All right? Whosoever transgresses. Whoever sin. And abideth not. And don't stay. In the doctrine of Christ. In the teaching of Jesus. Hath not God. Oh. That's plain. You don't have God. That's plain. In other words, you're out of God's will. That's right. You're out of God's purpose. That's right. And you're out of God's standard. That's right. Now listen. He that abideth in the doctrine of he Christ. He that stand and is consistent. In the doctrine of Christ. He that's consistent following the teachings of Christ. He has both the Father. Hold it! He hath both. He hath both the Father. Father. And the Son. And Son. That's right. All right, let's break down first nature. Father. Father. Let's get his nature. St. John chapter 4 and we're at verse 24. That's what? God is a spirit. God is what? God is a spirit. You see, when you have the Father, you have the spirit. That's right. For the book says the body without the spirit or the body without God is none of, his. none of his. So when you're tarrying for the Holy Ghost, you're tarrying for the filling of the Father. That's right. You're tarrying for the filling of the Comforter. That's right. You're tarrying for the filling of the yeah. Spirit of God. That's it. So when, that's why the Bible says you're kept by the power of God. The power of God is the presence of God or the function of God. That's right. God is a spirit. God, God is a spirit. A spirit. What kind? Holy. Because there's a lot of spirits. The Bible says, should we not rather be subject to the father of spirits and live? Beloved, believe not every spirit. Do you hear? In 1 John chapter 4, 1 John chapter 4 and at verse 1. See, you got spirits, but that are not fathers. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. God is a spirit. Because God is our Father. Right. And His nature is Spirit. Holy Spirit. That's right. Holy is God's character. Right. Spirit is God's nature. That's right. Holy is God's function. Spirit is God's nature. That's right. Because He's divine, eternal, perpetual. Perpetual. But His whole character is holy. holy. Yeah. He don't associate with no other God. That's right. He is a separatist. Mm. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. God, I said, is a separatist. That's right. 
until he want a people so much for himself, he demands That's right. that you are separated from the world. That's right. He demands it. That's right. Oh, thank God he orders it. Ordered it. He's not a separatist like you bigots. No. He's not a separatist like you racists. Because he knows he's deserving of everything. That's right. He wanted a people, That's an right. entire people yeah. of all walks of life from all of his creation. That's right. Because he wants to see his people. That's right. Serving him. Serving him. Because he's the creator of all flesh. That's right. But he's not responsible for the deeds of all flesh. That's right. He's the creator for the existing of the flesh. But he's not responsible for the deeds of all the flesh. That's right. Are you getting it? God is a spirit. Now, God is a spirit. That is his nature. That's his nature. God is holy. That is his character. That's his character. So when you have both the Father, father and, and the Son. Give me third chapter of the book of John. Yeah. Let's make it more plain when Jesus talked to Nicodemus. Yes. We're going to get both Father <laughs> and Son. And the son. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? St. John chapter 3, and we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. St. John chapter 3, and I'm at the very first verse. All right. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A, a ruler, ruler of the Jews. Of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by came night. Jesus nighttime. And said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou Rabbi art a teacher mean come from God. Rabbi teacher. Amen. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. What you mean? The flesh did come from God. Right. Yes, the flesh came from God. That's right. Because Mary didn't know a man. No. And if you got flesh walking around here and ain't got no earthly father, the flesh came from God. That's right. It's like Adam flesh came from God. That's right. It's like Adam flesh came from the earth and the son of God flesh came from the earth. Mm -hmm. The flesh didn't come from heaven. No. But the prophecy of the flesh came from heaven. That's it. And the predestination of the flesh came from heaven. That's right. But the fleshy body of flesh and blood did not come from heaven. No. But Pastor Jen, I thought I read what Jesus said, I came down from heaven. He did. Yeah. He did come down from heaven. Yeah. The spirit came down from heaven. That's right. And when the spirit came down from heaven, they got a merry body and made a man child. Then a man child come out of the house of David, but the spirit of that child come from heaven. That's right. Wonderful. Separation from human and divine. And divine. Separation from father and son. In other words, from spirit and flesh. That's right. Like the church. Yeah. The church is flesh. Yeah. But to get in the church, you need to be put in by spirit. That's right. Church consists of two natures. Yeah. Spirit yeah. and flesh. That's right. The power of the church is in the man and in the woman. Yeah. Spirit. spirit. The function of the church is act out through the flesh. That's right. Why? Because the flesh is called son. Son. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher, teacher come from God. Hey, teacher, teacher, rabbi. Amen. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. So right no, hold, right then they let me know that Jesus was not a Muslim. <laughs> you see, I, I love to pick up everything. That's wonderful, brother. Because Muslims are not called rabbis. That's right. Their teachers are called imam. That's right. And if he were to say imam, then I would have to say, yeah, he's a Muslim. Yeah. But right then they have to know, well, no, he's not a Muslim. That's he's right. a Jew. And said unto him, Rabbi. Rabbi. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. I got to pick up everything. Go ahead, man. Rabbi, Jew. That, that's right. Come from the tribe of Judah. Go ahead, man. Huh? Rabbi. Rabbi. We know that thou art a teacher thou come from God. Thou art a teacher come from God, and no man can do these miracles no man, that thou No do man us. can do this stuff. This stuff is not ordinary. Except God be with him. And ain't nobody can walk on water. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. No man can do these miracles. And you tell me it's not a mystery in the Bible? Amen. He walking down here on water? <laughs> walking on water. That's a mystery. That's, that's right. right. Hallelujah. And then he declared, I do nothing of myself. That's I'm not right. out here on my own. That's right. You go out there and walk on water. You, you, you try it. In the midst of a typhoon. <laughs> That's right. You try it. That thing jolted something in Peter. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Can, can I come out there? Can I come out? Yeah. Yeah. Peter's a better man than me. I don't know what I would have asked. <laughs> Amen. I think I'd take a ringside seat and just look on. <laughs> I don't think I want to go out there. No. But Peter, he, his faith, we took him out there. Took him out. 
Walking on water. Somebody asked me, did I ever walk on water? Sure I did. You did? Yeah. It was frozen. <laughs> I think you got him going, Pastor. Uh -huh. I think you got him going. Yeah, I got him going. <laughs> it was frozen. I didn't stay on it long either because I fell. That's right. <laughs> huh? Amen. I, 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 Peter is a better man than me. I, oh, yeah. If I saw Jesus walking on water, I would have been mesmerized just at that. That's right. I don't think I want to try it. No. And then the wind's blowing and the waves tossing. And when Peter saw that stuff going on, man, that stuff distract him. He starts sinking. Oh, yeah. That lets you know when the waves and the winds start tossing around in your life, Jesus is right there to keep you above all circumstances. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Huh? Amen. Jesus is right there. Right there. To keep you afloat. Oh, yes. Above all circumstances. Amen. The thing that caused Peter to sink because the winds and the waves was a distraction and it took his eyes off Jesus just like everyday life is a distraction. And if you take That's your true. eyes off Jesus, the same thing that happened to Peter will happen to you. He sunk and you will begin to sink and then you got to do like him. Lord, Lord save me. Save us. Save me. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, save me. That's it. Are you listening? Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher we come from God. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. But no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Except the Lord be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, What? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Listen at this. Except a man be born again. Except a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Now he's going to break it down further. Nicodemus said what? Nicodemus said unto him, How? Now let us remember this man was a ruler of the Jews. Every right. edu every edu edu had a lot of education. You know, smart. Educated. Brilliant. And done. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Because what Jesus pitched at Nicodemus, nothing but mystery. Yeah. Full of it. Amen. Smart, brilliant, dumb. That's right. Very educated, but he wasn't educated to the things of God. That's right. That's what the Bible says this the things of God no man knows. No man knows. But the Spirit of God. That's right. And the Spirit got to get in man so man can associate himself with the things of God. Yeah. Listen. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born? How? Now, I want you to see Nicodemus' ignorance now. I want you viewers to get this. That's when right. you hear any preacher, I don't care who he is, where he come from, tell you there's no mysteries in the Bible. Lord have that mercy. preacher alone is blind and sent by the devil. That's right. He's making the Bible a very common, ordinary book. Right. Something that you can go to the library and just, you know, get your library card, bring home, read a bedtime story, and call it a day. Right. This thing going to judge creation. That's right. And you mean to tell me this is the ordinary book, and yet your life hang on here? Amen. Amen. I don't have to obey Tom Thumb. <laughs> no. I don't have to obey Tom Sawyer or no. Huckleberry right. Finn. Oh, no. That's right. I don't have to obey nothing that Plato or Zeus or Socrates or any of these Greek mythologists have. I don't have to obey that stuff. No. I don't have to obey the Book of Mormon. No. Some old dirty book found under a dirty rock in That's New York. True. That's right. By some old fake angel named Mermon. Mermon. You got to obey that. That's right. Not at all. Not at all. But here the word of God come. Notice what it's called, the word of God. Word of God. And you mean to tell me God's word has <laughs> been you. belittled down yeah. to these frail, spineless, and mindless nitwits. <laughs> That's right. That call themselves preachers and say there ain't no mysteries in the Bible. No mysteries in the Bible. He's a blasphemer. That's a blasphemer. You know, when you start blaspheming and don't turn to God, you got to keep it up. That's right. Until you blaspheme your way right into hell. Right in the that's right. Bible is full of mystery. Oh, yeah. Let us, yeah. us, us make man. Let us make man. Throughout the mystery. I told you there was more than one help. Then he come back and say, ah, oh, so God made man. God made man. One. In his own image. That's right. In the image of G-O-D created he him. That's right. Mystery. Mystery. Right. All down through the Bible. 
For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. And what? Here's another mystery. All right. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5, we're at verse 31. For this cause let, let a man leave father and mother. And shall be joined unto his wife. Joined to his wife. And they too shall be one flesh. They too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery. <laughs> this is a great mystery, but yet, here, 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 here. Amen. He's talking about the unification of a marriage of a man and a woman. And a woman. He went and talked about the colonel thing first, did he not? That's right. And now look at what he says, chapter and verse again. In Ephesians chapter 5 at verse 31 and 32. That's what? For this cause shall a man leave his father and leave, mother. Leave father and mother. And shall be joined unto his wife. Now, if you don't read no more, you'll think he's just talking about marriage, you know, your relationship, you know. Get it together, go down to the altar and say, would you take this one? Then you say, I do, that and that I do. Then you live happily <laughs> ever after if it be the Lord's will. That's right. All right? And they too shall be one flesh. Then what? This is a great mystery. But what is he talking about? But I speak concerning Christ, Christ? and the church. Hold it. Come on, Jay. But yet he's talking about marriage. Marriage. So which one of them, the man or the woman, represent Christ, and which one represent the church? That's right. Because it's a mystery. It's a great mystery. The man will represent Christ. Right. Because he put forth seed. That's right. That's what the preacher does. That's the Bible right. said the seed is the word, the word, and that must come from the mouth of the preacher. Yeah. Amen. The wife represents the church. That's right. Because the Bible said there was added unto them daily. daily. So in order for the woman to multiply, seed must be discharged. For the church to grow, the word must be discharged yeah. so the body of Christ can become pregnant and more right. babies come into the world. That's right. That's I right. Saw everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Everywhere. Everywhere. And the world. Yes. Seed spilled. Oh, yeah. Babies come. That's right. And we put them in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Huh? That's right. Just like when that man with that woman and that man spilled seed, where's that child formed at? In water. In water. Then the water break, and then a child come forth. That's right. And just like we take that body down in water and come out walking in newness of life. Newness of life. Amen. 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 Read that again, Williams. Back in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31 and 32. I want all of you folks to hear this real good now, that this is a good educational message. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, yes. Get oh. this. In the book of Ephesians 5, verses 31 and 32. And? For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. For this cause. Shall a man. Leave his father and mother. Hold it. For this cause shall a man leave. His father. His past. Hmm. I gotta break it down. <laughs> he got to leave his past. That's right. Mm -hmm. For this cause shall a man leave his he father. He gotta leave mother. his former dwelling. Right. His former dwelling represents his former life, past life. That's right. World. That's right. And what? And shall be joined unto his wife. He got to be joined unto to his, his wife. wife. And they too. And now they too. Shall be one flesh. So you got to be joined to God. Right. Through water and spirit that you may be one with him. That's right. For he said, I'm in the father. Right. And the father's in me. That's right. And then he prayed when he was in the flesh to them, for them that the spirit gave him out of the world that they all might be what? One. One. That's right. God wants you to be one with him. That's right. And to be one with him, you got to agree with everything he said. But he that is joined unto the Lord. What? He that is joined unto the Lord. Here, chapter and verse. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. He that is joined, he, he that is tied. Unto the Lord. To the Lord. Is one spirit. Anything in you that fight the word, you ain't joined to the word. You no. ain't joined to the Lord. No. Because when you got the same spirit. That's in you, that's in heaven, you're gonna agree with what the word said. That's right. Even if it hurts you. That's right. Even if it beats you unmerciful. Yes. Back in Ephesians 5, verses 31 and 32. Listen. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. And what? And shall be joined unto his wife. Uh -huh. And they too shall be one flesh. And what? This is a great mystery. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ. That I speak concerning Christ. And the church. You see, the church, the church is gonna be presented 
to Christ like a woman is presented to her husband during a time of marriage. That's right. That's why that time will be known as the marriage of the Lamb, the should lamb. I say. Right. Here's the husband man, which is Jesus Christ himself, will appear in the heavens, and then the church will be presented to God. As it stands now, he didn't come for the church yet because the garment is not clean yet. That's right. The garment is still in the cleaners. Eh? That's right. God sent men to spot treatment, the gown of the church. We use strong detergent. That's right. Pure Bible. Pure. Pure. Don't dilute it. Yeah, here yeah now. We don't dilute it with nothing, I said. Right. Pure Bible. Pure Bible. Pour it on that stain. <laughs> Then we use the heat of the gospel. That's right. To get the wrinkle out your life, put a crease there. Yeah. Mm. Huh? Go ahead, man. Not having a spot yeah. or wrinkle. Or wrinkle. Or any such thing. No red tech gut or any such thing, but that it should be. Holy. That's why he ain't come for it yet. He's still cleaning the church up. Still, that's right. Go ahead, man. Amen. Go ahead. Do you hear this? For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. Ah, it's Wonderful. so beautiful. Wonderful. 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 Manly father and mother. And, and shall be joined shall unto be his wife. Joined to his wife. And they too shall be one flesh. You see, when Jesus comes for the church, he's going to present to himself a mm -hmm. glorious church. Whenever a woman is married, her father or her oldest brother or uncle, whoever, is presented to that man. That's right. That's why the question is asked, who's going, who going to give you away? <laughs> he said, well, I do. All right, that's short lips. Sit down. <laughs> God is going to present to himself. Amen. You got to be presented to God. Presented. Mm -hmm. This is a great mystery. Concerning what? But I speak concerning Christ and the church. You see that? And yet these infidels say there's no mystery. There's no mystery. No mystery? Mm. Not, not only is this a mystery, it says how good is it? Great mystery. This is great. Oh, yes. It's so great until the kernel mind can't grasp it. That's right. All right, go back to the book of John so I can knock off. Now, the nature of the Father is spirit. Spirit. The spirit of God is the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is the comforter. That's right. And the comforter is the power of God or the presence of God that come within us to keep us from falling, That's right. that it may present us faultless before the presence of his glory. And don't force its will upon us. No. We have to give in to the will of the Holy Ghost, and by giving in to the will of the Holy Ghost, we have to give in to the will of the Holy Word. That's right. So I say, well, how do I obey the Spirit? Do I wait till God talk? You obey the Spirit by obeying Scripture. The word. Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they. They are Spirit. They are Spirit. And they are life. They. Our life. So that's how you obey God. That's how you obey the Spirit. Right. You ain't got to wait for the little bird to land right. on, your, on your window or wait for voices to hear you at night telling you, wake up. That's right. Wake up. No, no, no. You ain't got to you hear that. You to do that. No, no, no. <laughs> that's right. God talks through here. The words. Have both Father and the Son. And Son. Now hold it. First chapter of the book of Luke real quickly now. Yes. Let's see when he was born. First chapter of the book of Romans. Begin at verse 1 also. Give me Luke first. Give me Luke first. Let's get his birth, and let's get what he consists of. In the book of Luke, chapter 1. And then from there, give him the book of Hebrews. Right. I want to see he come out of the stock of Abraham. That's right. And, all right. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1, we'll start at verse 31. Now, let's get the nature of the Son. I, show you, I already showed you how you have the Father. Father is the Spirit. Father is the Holy Ghost. Father is the title of Jesus. That's okay. right. Father is the creating title. Title of Jesus. That's right. It shows you his title as creator. Father. I want you the father of everything. Everything. <laughs> Prophecy, right. have we not all one father? That's right. Have not one God created us? Right. He's the father. That's right. The husband man. The boss. The boss. He's the boss. That's right. He's the real Godfather. <laughs> That's right. He's the real That's right. Godfather. That's right. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's such a Godfather, he can put a hit out on you when he wants. That's right. The Godfather said, I kill. I make a lie. I woo. And I heal. Christ is the real Godfather. Yeah. Amen. That's right. <laughs> now, now, when you go to him, don't think of him as the Godfather and look at TV. 
When you go to him and answer your prayer, he ain't gonna be, well, you know. You know. No. What, on, what do you want me to do for you? Come on, Jay. You see, one day I will ask favors of you. Not that. That's right. But it is some truth in that statement. Yeah. Because one day, the Lord going to ask favors from you. Oh, yeah. And he simply asked in one thing, obey him. Obey him. Until he said obedience is better than sacrifice. That's right. And when you obey him, that come under a list of things. Oh, yeah. Giving up. Oh, yeah. Surrender. Some friends you got to walk away from. Some family members you got to separate from. Change your lifestyle. You got to be strong about the struggle. You find yourself sinking in. The Godfather's there to get you out. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is it, son? In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1, we're at verse 31. All right, let's get the nature of the son. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. All right. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. I want you gremlins that have logged on and say, you see that? He's trying to make it one. It says both, both, both. That means two gods. Come to Pastor Jennings and tell me that. I take both of your tongues if you got them. That's right. I make you lick Old Testament all the way to new. All the way to new. There's one God. One God. And when he came in the flesh, it was two natures. That's it. Both Father and the Son yes. is two natures. That's it. One is terrestrial. One is celestial. Yeah. One is human. One is divine. That's right. One is mortal, one is immortal. One is immortal. That's all that is. That's it. The Father, immortal. Father, celestial. Father, everlasting. Father, divine. Father, perpetual. Father, no beginning. Father, no ending. Father, always was. Father, always will be. That's right. Son, begotten. begotten. Son, birthday. Son, born. Son, flesh. flesh. Son, man. That's right. Nice Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yeah. Amen. Human and divine. And divine. That's right. Just look at yourself, you that have the Holy Ghost. You're filled with something divine. But where is it located? In a human. In a human. And now the human is required to live by the divine that's in it. That's right. Glory oh, to God. And behold, behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Now we're going to get the nature. Yes. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bring forth a son. Bring forth a son. Hold uh, it. Mm -hmm. Bring forth a son. Bring forth a body. That's right. A lot of these infidels say every time you talk about the son, you talk about a body. A body, 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 body. That's right. That's right. How do you know your wife had a son or a daughter? You're infidel. You're infidel. You ain't looking at a spirit, you're looking at a body. That's right. You check the anatomy, get the leg holding upside down. Oh, there are. Right. Either son or daughter. Right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yes. If the child come out not crying and that doctor smack it, he ain't smacking the spirit, you're infidel. No. You're smacking a child, either boy or girl. That's right. Glory to God. I want to make it so plain that a fool don't have no excuse of being a fool. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bring forth a son. Bring forth a son. Bring forth a human being. And shalt call his name Jesus. Yes. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son. Of what? Of the highest. Oh. Mm. Son of the highest, of the meaning he shall be called the son of God. That's right. Showing you there's something higher than that nature That's right. of flesh. That's right. Highest. When you say highest, you can't go above that. No. You can't go above the highest. The highest. The highest is, is, is you just can't get higher you can't than that. can't get higher than that. So the flesh was called son of the highest. Highest. He consists of flesh and blood. Give me Romans now. Romans chapter 1 and read verse 3. Solomon. Concerning his son. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. We got his birth. Mm. Let's see what he consists of. Romans chapter 1 and that verse 3. All right. Concerning his and then son. And after that, give me Leviticus. Yeah. 
the life of all flesh. Right. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> Romans chapter 1 and that verse 3. What is it? Concerning his son. Concerning his son. Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ our Lord. Which was made. All that. They ain't talking about the spirit. No way. That ain't the spirit ain't never was made. No. Spirit don't have no maker. That's right. The spirit is the maker. That's right. But the son of God was made. Was made. Uh -huh. Which was made of the seed of David. He was made of the seed of David according to what? According to the flesh. No, he's the seed of David according to the spirit. According to the flesh. He was of the seed of David according to the spirit. Which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. How? What else? And the, and the, and Declared to be the son of God. Declared to be the son of God. With power. With what? With power. Where did he get that power from? According to the spirit of holiness. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. According to what? According to the spirit of holiness. You see him come on back. Go ahead, man. Mm. Oh, power. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Given unto me. And heaven. And in earth. Who gave it to him, Pastor Jennings? He took it himself. He took it. He took it. He said, Thou hast taken unto thee That's right. thine great power and has reigned. That's right. I want to say, How in the world he going to take it? Then he says, Give it to him. He said, All things the Father have are mine. mine. <laughs> That's right. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. So when these men tell you there's no mystery, they're dumb. They're, oh, yeah. they're, they're poor pit idiots. That's right. That's why they got more than one God. They got flesh and blood in heaven. They got flesh and blood coming down from heaven. They got the Holy Ghost is the third person of the Godhead. They got Jesus is a little junior God. Ju That's right. Huh? That's right. Junior God, Jesus, and a second junior Holy Ghost. Amen. You infidel. When you have both the Father both and the, the Father. Son is when you're born again. That's right. I received the Son first. I went down in water Go ahead. and got that blood. That's it. When they pissed him in the side, what came out, church? Blood and water. What came out? Blood and water. You better give Bible for this in the book of John. The book of St. John. Amen. Follow me real good. I want to soak you. I book want to make John. him plain. That's right. Both the Father and the Son. And the Son. Simply means you got the new birth. You're born again because now you got both natures. Don't you know you can, many of you got the Father? Right. And you don't have the son yet? That's right. And I'm preaching you need the son. You need the son. And many of you got the son and you're still waiting on the arrival of the father. That's right. Well, I got the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. But I'm tarrying, waiting on the gift of the Holy Ghost. I'm waiting, waiting. for the father to come in here. That's right. And I'm baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. I can tell the world I have both the Father. That's right. And the Son. And the Son. Viewer, you're looking at someone that got both the Father. That's right. And the Son. That's right. And I'm preaching to you. Receive the Father. That's right. And the Son. And the Son. <laughs> what do you mean? Repent. Repent. And be baptized. That's right. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. When you get that baptism, you got the Son. That's the Son. And when you receive the Holy Ghost, you got the Father. That's right. That's what puts you in the church. That's right. That's what makes you one body. That's it. St. John chapter 19 you know, in that dumb, verse. dumb, ignorant thing. They don't have the mystery. No, they don't have I'm it. I'm jumping on Pastor Jennings. I'll take you on a 1931 ride with Bible. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Shoot you all up with Bible. Shoot boom, you boom, boom, right. And then throw you on the curb of your false church. That's right. And then drive off and leave you laying there. Amen. Of course, it was wrong. I'm bleeding scripture. <laughs> yeah? I'm bleeding scripture. You're bleeding out, Pastor. Bleeding out? Bleeding out. Come on, William. Let's work good. St. John chapter 19 and verse 34. This is, your, this is why you hear me say over the air, Understand the language of Bible. That's right. Language of Bible. That's it. Both Father and Son don't mean you got two gods. No. And I dare any Trinity that log on to say otherwise if you can come on here. That's right. I take both Father and Son and beat you unmerciful with Bible. That's right. Hear this. St. John chapter 19 and we're at verse 34. What is it? But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. What? 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 But one of the soldiers. One of the soldiers. With a spear. With a spear. Pierced his side. Then what happened? With and forthwith came forthwith there out. Forthwith came out. Blood. Blood. And water. 
What came out? Blood. What? And water. Epistle of John, chapter 3. Uh, 1 John, chapter 5. Chapter 5, beg your pardon. 1 verse, John, chapter 5. Verse 6, if I'm correct. And we're at, right at verse 6. Yeah. This is he that came by water. This is he. This yeah. is he. Hallelujah. <laughs> Talking about the son. This is he. This is he. That came by water. That came by water. And blood. And blood. Even Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. Who did it? Even Jesus Christ. Who did it? Jesus Christ. Not yeah, well, when you finish that, give me the book of Hebrew. Yes. Then take on a seed. Then take on the nature of anger between the seed of Abraham and then maybe make, made like unto his brother. I'm right there, Pastor. I'm right there. All right, there. finish that up now. This is he that came by water. This is he. Hallelujah. Son. This is he that came by water and blood. This is he that came by water and blood. Even Jesus Christ. Who did it? Jesus Christ. Viewers, how you get the blood is how you got to get in water. That's right. When they press him in the side out, came blood and water. Well, if you blood. want that blood, you got to go down in water. In water. Yeah? That's right. You want that blood, you got to go down in water. In the water. You want to be covered by the blood, you got to be covered by water. Yes. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. There was let me education. Why do you think it's called new birth? New birth. When a natural baby is in the womb of the mother, yeah. in the sack of water, yeah. there's blood in there. Oh, yeah. It's in a sack of water. That's right. And there's blood there. That's yeah. right. That's why he used the term new birth. birth. Born again. Because he know you have to go in elements go to be born all over again. It won't have no longer a natural meaning. That's right. And I have a spiritual meaning. That's right. And the elements will be used in a different manner. In a different manner. Yes. See, this time your blood was contaminated. Yeah. In the sack of water you was formed and it was contaminated. That's right. Yes. Formed in lust, shaped into iniquity. In iniquity. Now he come along. That's why uh, Mary couldn't lay with the man because it would contaminate Jesus' blood. That's right. Oh. Jesus' blood, I want you to hear me, was better than ours. Oh, yes. That's why the Bible said he was made in the likeness. Give me the book, St. John. Yes. Amen. You got, you got to get all your fingers. St. John, I believe chapter 1. If I, yeah, St. John chapter 1. Not of blood. Nor of men. Nor of men, that's right. I want you to follow me. Jesus' time. blood. St. John. Jesus' blood was superior to yours. He was made in the likeness. That's of right. sinful, flesh. sinful flesh. Likeness mean he wasn't made just like it. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Some of you men are in the likeness of a woman. Come on, Jay. Come on. Do you get it now? Right. But you're not a woman. That's right. Jesus came in the likeness. For what the law could not do. Notice the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8 and at verse 3. You see what the law could not do in, in that, that. It was weak, it was the weak through the flesh. God sending his own son. God sent. That's right. His own son. In the likeness of and, sinful he flesh. Came, his son of God came here looking like. Sinful flesh. Sinful flesh. It's like a man come looking like a woman. Or a woman come looking like right. a man. But they not neither. That's right. Jesus came looking like that's sinful flesh. Sinful flesh. Right. Sinful flesh. He looked like it. Looked like it. Just had to look. That's but it. not the lifestyle. Not the lifestyle. Had to look, but not the behavior. Right. Had to look, but didn't have the attitude. That's right. Had to look, but didn't have the character. That's right. Are you that's getting me? God sending His own Son in God the likeness. God sending His own Son. And the likeness of sinful flesh. But what? And for sin. He made everything in reverse. And for sin, what did he do to sin? Condemned sin. He condemned sin. sin. In the flesh. You know he wasn't no sinner. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He did everything opposite. He come and condemned sin, condemned sin. In, the flesh, in the flesh. And yet looking like sinful flesh. That's yeah. right. That for sin. That's right. He may condemn sin in the flesh. In the flesh. That the righteousness of the, of the law, law might be fulfilled in us. Might be manifest in us. So walk not after the flesh. But after the spirit. Oh, we'll take God, but after the spirit. Now, we'll St. John, John. Chapter 1 and at verse 13. I want to take you back to what I said. That Jesus' blood was superior to ours. That's right. But because he has superior blood, he didn't take that blood into heaven. That's right. 
His blood wasn't so superior that he took it to heaven. No. Because his blood wasn't needed up there. No. After you read that, then give me Hebrews, then give me Ephesians 1, 7. One, seven. I want to show the world the purpose of blood. Purpose of blood, that's right. Hear this now. St. John chapter 1, we're at verse 13. I want to give you a good Bible meal today. St. John chapter 1 and verse 13. Hear this. Which were born not of blood. What? Which were born not of blood. Which was born not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Wait a minute. Where every, every, all of us here came of the will of the flesh. That's right. That man want that woman, that woman want that man, and then they got together. And then right. we end up here. We end up here. And folks still come in here. How? Through the will of the flesh. That's right. Uh-huh. Which were born not of blood. You came here in three categories. Mm -hmm. Somebody say what? Yes. Either you, either you came here because some man and woman commit fornication, or some man and woman commit adultery, or they go, you came here out of a lawful marriage. That's right. The only three categories. That's right. You ain't come from heaven. No. You come from heaven, William? Nope. Right from the earth, Pastor. You come from the earth. Right from the earth. Come right from the earth. Right. And then dust from dust, and dust we going back. That's right. All right, read quick, William. Which, which were born not of blood. Which was born not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Nor of fleshy will. Nor of the will of man. Oh, Jesus came here, not the will of no man, but of who? But of God. It was the will of the Spirit. Why do you think the Spirit of God sent the angel? That's right. And Mary was like, oh, I, oh wait a minute now. <laughs> That's right. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't know, know no man. I don't know a man. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Mary and Gabriel was going at it. Oh, yeah. You going to conceive in that womb and bring Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, wait a minute. Oh, how, how did this That's going to be? be? That's right. I'm a virgin. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I can imagine one of y'all, I don't know no man. <laughs> What you talking about, Gabriel? Shoot, get away from here. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Shoot. You must rather be fighting them. <laughs> then you got some of y'all crazy women. You gonna get me pregnant, Gabriel? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Gabriel got to end that message quick. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get moving now. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, son. Which were born not of blood. Which is born not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. So Jesus' flesh and Jesus' blood was superior to everybody. That's why he can shed blood. That's right. And that's why only he and no prophet before him or since, or since. could die for nobody. That's right. That's true. Because he was the only sufficient sacrifice. That's, that's right. As the priest in the Old Testament went once every year yeah. to offer sacrifice and offer blood. Yeah. Here he come into what? That's right. Died for everything. By the which will we are sanctified. Listen. In Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 10. By the which we are set apart. Through the offering. Through the offering. Of the body. Of, of who? Of the body. Of, of the Son of God. Of Jesus Christ. He offered that body. Yay! Once for all. How many times did he do it? Once for all. How many times did he do it? Once for all. That's when it was. That's the atonement right there. Right there. Hallelujah. He didn't atone in heaven. No. For who? Once for all. How? And every priest standeth daily ministering. Yes. And offering oftentimes the same sacrifices. You see how it compare what the priest done to what the Jesus priest. done? That's right. Because Jesus was the high priest. That's right. Uh -huh. The high priest of our profession. That's right. Christ Jesus. Glory. He, the Bible called him the high the priest. The high priest. Yes. Of our profession. Of our profession. Yeah. Christ Jesus. Wherefore, holy brethren. Wherefore, holy brethren. Partakers, partakers of the heavenly calling. What are we going to think about? Consider the apostle. That's not the spirit. No. Spirit is not an apostle. That's right. Because an apostle is taught by the spirit. That's right. Who teaches the spirit? Mm. Nobody. The spirit is not an apostle and the spirit is not sent. That's right. By nobody. The spirit comes on its own. That's right. An apostle got to be called. Yeah. Sent. Revelation got to be made known to him. Amen. Then he got to be given wisdom. That's right. Christ is the wisdom of God mm. and the power of God. Wherefore, holy brethren, Wherefore? partakers of the heavenly call. What are we going to do? Consider the apostle. Consider the apostle. And high priest of our profession. What's his name? Christ Jesus. Christ. Nice. <laughs> Amen. Did you hear that? Amen. Amen. Did you hear that, viewer? Amen. So here we are now. Here we are now. The sacrifice. Yeah. Both father and the son. son. 
and the Father means Holy Ghost, Spirit, that which is divine. Right. Son is dealing with the natural light. Right. In order to get the Son, you got to go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then you have both the Father and the Son. Is when you're born again, born again, have the water and the Spirit. That's it. That's it. That's all that is. Go back to the book of uh, St. John, if you will. Amen. Epistle of John. Now, beg your pardon. Epistle of John. Back in 2 John chapter 1 at verse 9. Epistle of John. Back in 2 John chapter 1 and read verse 9. Yes. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ. Is that 2 John or is that 1 John? This is 2 John. 2 John? Yes. Chapter 1 and verse 9. All right. No, that's not what I want. No. I want that 3. Uh, 1 John chapter 5. Yes. 1 John chapter 5 and we'll, start, right. and we'll start at verse 7. Yes. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Yes. They determine that's the Trinity. Amen. You're just watching me now. Write me and tell me that's the Trinity. In fact, tell me in person. Liar. Liar. That's right. Your daddy is a liar, your mama's a liar, and your pastor's yeah. a liar, and you. That's right. All Trinities are hellions. That's right. I was once a hellion, Pastor. Yes, you were a hellion. Amen. I worked on that hellion, too. Yes, you did. And now you got delivered from hell. I got delivered. Thank God for you, Will. Amen. Thank God for you, Will. <laughs> You ain't the only trinity in here. That's right. We have thousands around the world that are ex-trinity. That's right. Thousands. Thousands. Waked up. Oh, yes. Waked up and seen that as one God. That's it. When I was in Africa, an African old woman came to me crying with joy. And I was in Johannesburg. Amen. She said, I was raised a Trinitarian all my life. She said, until I heard you. Hmm. She said, when I heard you, I jumped out of my bed and started yelling. She said, you were yelling and clapping. There's one God, and Jesus is here. There's Lord. one God. Many functions from the one God. From the one God. He's healer, he's redeemer, he's keeper, he's protector, he's creator, he's provider. That's right. He's father, he's word, he's everlasting. Hallelujah! Lord, Hallelujah. God, God Almighty is that. Oh, yes. Come on. 1 John chapter 5 and at verse 7. What is it? For there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three. Amen. That bear record in heaven. The Father. That's the Spirit. The Word. That's God. That's right. What else? The Word. That's the Spirit. That's God. Because Jesus said the words that I speak unto you, they are Spirit. That's, that's spirit. God. That's right. And what? And the Holy Ghost. That's God because that's God's nature. That's right. Holy Ghost. Holy is character. Ghost is spirit. Right. Holy Ghost is the same thing as Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is not the difference from the Holy Spirit. No. A spirit is a ghost. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. The same thing. Same thing. Hallelujah. Come on. For there are three that bear record in heaven. What is it? The Father. That's God. The Word. That's God. And the Holy Ghost. That's God. Right. They're just showing you the different functions of God. That's it. The Father. The Word. That's the Creator. Mm -hmm. The Word. That's God speaking. And the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's God dwelling in you. That's right. right. That's right. And those functions are do what? And these three are one. Those functions are, is of one. It comes from one. Come from one. Are you listening? That's and there are three that bear witness oh, to the earth. Oh, that's the Father. That's right. Now let's get the nature of the Son. Now in 1 John chapter 5 and at verse 8. I notice where it points to. And there are three that bear witness in earth. Where? In earth. That's where it came from, Mary's womb. That's, that's right. All that nature comes from the womb. That's right. It, it was in the earth. In earth. What earth? Mary's body. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there are three that bear witness in earth. What is it? The spirit. Spirit. And the water. And the spirit overshadowed it and got in her. That's right. Then what? And the water. And the water. And the blood. And what is it? And these three agree. Wait a minute, what's that word? And, and these three agree. How? In one. Now wait a minute. Come on, Come on. Mm. How does the spirit agree with water and blood? Yeah. They agree in one because it makes one new birth. That's right. You can't get in without the other. Right. Even if you get the father first. You know you can get the father before you get the son. That's right. 
Let's get Bible. In the book of Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10. And we'll start reading at verse 44. Listen, while Peter has spoke the word. The Holy Ghost. The Father. Mm. That's right. That's right. Someone said the Father is, is, he called he. The Holy Ghost is no he. It ain't. Eighth chapter of the book of Acts. Of Acts. Acts 8, 16. Acts 8 and verse 16. I said the Holy Ghost is he. That's right. Listen. Acts 8, 16. We'll start at verse 15. All right. Who, when they were come down, prayed for them. When the apostles came down and prayed for them. That they might receive, they the, Holy might receive the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost. For as yet. For as yet. He. What? He. For as yet he, he was fallen upon none of the them. The Holy Ghost didn't fall on none of them yet. Only they were baptized How? in the name of the Lord Jesus. They only had the Son. That's right. Then when the apostles laid hands on them, and the Father came on them. And they received the Holy Ghost. Ah, hey, you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Oh, we take God, they got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So on these blind, devil-deceived things out here, Try to make the father and the son two gods? Come tell me that. Yeah. That's right. Come tell Pastor Jennings that, you liar. That's a lie. Who? Everybody. <laughs> That's right. Wonderful. Everybody. All of you two God heathens out here. It's yeah. hard enough to obey one. Yeah. yeah. You gonna give me an extra? <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. Let's see what everybody got to do now. Give me Acts 2.38. When the Father, the nature of the Father and the nature of the Son was preached. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right. Human family, get this. Amen. You get this now. Oh, yes. This is what the apostle preached on the day of Pentecost. That's right. So you can get in the church. There ain't none of you born again until you got this right here. That's right. You have heard me through the years, you hard head, stubborn heathen. Yeah. Bowing your head and raising your hand and talking about you saved, you no more saved than a drunken duck. <laughs> Can drive a tractor trailer at three in the morning and make his delivery of tasty cakes on time. My Lord. Eh? Then Peter said unto I'm them. Make it hard for you. <laughs> that's right. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Peter didn't say bow your head or raise your hands or accept Christ as your personal savior. You know this message is going to make a lot of enemies holler. Oh, they're going to holler. And I want you to holler. You be obedient now. That's right. You holler like the devil wants you to. That's right. But it won't help you. No. You're going to obey this or go to hell. Oh, That's yeah. True. Who? You and your mama. That's right. And your daddy. That's right. And your slap happy grandpappy. Hallelujah. Listen now. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Your whole household got to do it. That's right. The whole house, all your girlfriends got to do it. Amen. All your girlfriends and your weak boyfriends. Amen. All them babies you made out there, they all got to do it. All got to do it. Your daddy, your pastor, That's all right. the choir got to come. They ain't got to change clothes. Amen. Go right with the robe on. Amen. Yeah. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. What else? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. For the removing of your sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive God. When you receive God, you have the Father. Have the Father. Do you see how plain it is? That's right. Anybody here want to be right today? Hallelujah. And be baptized the right way in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful, wonderful. You that are standing, come on to the front. All right, viewers, you get ready to pack up and leave your church. I know many of you are mad, and I don't care. Amen. I don't care. Now, you talk about this message. Talk about it. Call your pastor. Tell your pastor who don't believe in no mystery about this message. Call the faker. That's right. Call the Pillsbury Doughboy. Tell him about it. That's right. Tell him the Bible's full of mysteries full of mystery. that he don't have. That's right. Call your bishop. Yes. Call your half pint apostle Amen. and your nitwit elder Amen. and your infidel bishop. Right. And your hell deserving pastor. Amen. Tell him the Bible declared the mystery. Mystery. And all men that say that the Bible is not a mystery or no mysteries in there. You are blasphemers and liars. And liars. And you're on your way to hell. In the now, Luke now, chapter now, 10. Now go to church. Now go to church. You go to church now. You preach all you want now. 
Make all your webcasts and podcasts and make a podcast in your bathroom if you like. That's right. Amen. All right, let's close out what you have, William. We'll close out with St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 21. That's what? In that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit. In that same hour. Jesus, Jesus rejoiced in spirit. Got happy in the spirit. And said, I thank thee, O Father. Yeah. Amen. I thank thee, O Father. Lord of Lord heaven and earth. Of heaven and earth. That thou hast hid these things. Yeah. Amen. That's why these men say there are no mysteries. That's right. I, I, I feel the happiness that Jesus has. Wonderful. I, I'm able to say I thank thee, O Father. Amen. Lord of heaven and earth. That thou hast hid these things. You, 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 you hid these things. You kept these things secret. From the wise, from and, the wise prudent, and prudent. And the prudent. And has revealed and them unto babes. And you have made it known. Hallelujah. To babes. Even so, Father. Even so, Father. For so it seems it's good. When you do this, it's good. In thy sight. In the sight of oh, God. Yeah. Isn't that Hallelujah. wonderful? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's good. Amen. So if you want the mystery of the scriptures, broken down and made plain, you continue to watch the truth of God. That's right. Leave your church. We are declaring to the world there's one God yeah. who was manifested in the flesh. Yeah. And the flesh was called the son of the living God. Yeah. And he died and purchased a church, which is a people That's right. with blood. That's right. He sent out men, uh -huh. made them apostles. Yeah. And gave them the exact same teaching because he taught them. He taught them. He rose from the dead and opened up their yes. understanding. Yes. That's why the apostles can preach Jesus clearly. That's right. They wasn't fumbling over what he was saying. No. They wasn't handling the word of God deceitfully. That's right. They was able to go into this mystery and break it down. That's it. And when they were done, Paul said, to make all men see, all men see. what is the fellowship of the mystery. Of the mystery. Well, it was hid in God yeah. who created all things by Jesus Christ. That quotation is a mystery. That's right. That's right. Quotation. Because he said he created all things, all things. by Jesus. You better read that real quick. Come yeah. on, sir. I need you to find that quick. And then give me, first give me Malachi. Give me Malachi. Hey. Another, another mystery came to me. Another mystery? Give me Malachi. Malachi chapter 2. Let's see how many creators we have, and then I want to get he created all things by Jesus Christ. Right. Malachi chapter 2 and at verse 10. Let's close this mystery out right here. Have we not all one father? Oh. Amen. Have we not all one father? Hath not one God created us? Hmm. Hey, Bills. Yeah. How many creators do we have? One God created us. All right, let's see what the Apostle Paul said. Now in the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, and at verse 9. Says what? And to make all men see. To make all men see. What is the fellowship of the mystery? Wait a minute. Hmm. How the mystery fellowship, how the mystery harmonize. Which from the beginning of the world. That lets you know you got to go to the Old Testament, then go to the New to make it harmonize. That's right. That's fellowshiping with Scripture. That's right. Fellowship, you got to get the old and the new and then make them harmonize. That's right. Mm -hmm. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. What happened? Which from the beginning of the world uh -huh. hath been hid in God. That what? Who created all things. He created how? All things. How did he do it? By Jesus Christ. But what did Malachi say? Have we not all one father? Hath not one God created us? But what did Paul say? Who created all things by Jesus Christ? But what did Malachi say? Hath not one God created us? Amen. You better not tell me we got two creators. That's right. One God created us. Only got one God. That's right. So I said, but it's through Jesus Christ. That's right. It is the power of creation all locked up in his name. That's, that's it. That's it. Hallelujah. You get what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. He didn't create nothing through his flesh. No. The flesh was created himself. That's right. The Bible says he was made, made a little lower than the angels. That's right. Made. made. Made, yeah. meaning he was created. Created. We got one creator. That's it. One God. One God. His name is Jesus. That's it. And his function is Christ. That's right. Christ is not his name. No. Christ is his title. Yeah. Christ is the wisdom of God. Yeah. Christ is the power of power God. God. Christ is the function of God. That's right. Because Christ means anointed. And the anointing power of God is the spirit of God that came upon the flesh that was anointing by God. That's right. Until the flesh said, uh, the spirit of the Lord God is upon, is upon me. But you mean Christ came on me. That's right. Christ came on Jesus. That's right. 
Christ came on Jesus. That's right. The Spirit of the Christ Spirit. moved on Jesus. Yeah. That's what anointing means. Anointing. Christ. Christ. Amen. I can take this right over to the time of the evening service. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful. It's man. a mystery, brother. It's a mystery. When these men out here tomorrow, there ain't no mystery to the Bible, ain't no mystery. Man, they are blasphemous. It's blasphemy. This ain't no common, ordinary book. Oh, no. Why do you think so many people are trying to uh, debunk it? Right. And trying to prove it to be wrong. That's right. They ain't trying to do that with no other book on the earth. No. That's true. Hallelujah. We, by God's permission, deal with the mystery of things. Oh, yes. God gave it to us to dive into the mystery of the scripture. By revelation. By revelation. I know I said that was the last one, Pastor, but right, Ephesians, read it quick, Ephesians chapter 3 and that verse 3. Says what? How that by revelation. By revelation. He made, he made known, known unto me the unto mystery. Me what? The mystery. How? As I wrote a four and few words. I wrote a four and few words. Whereby when you read. And, and, and when you read the mystery, what You may understand my knowledge. Wait a minute. What, how, the mystery come out how? Ye may understand my knowledge. You see, when you read what the Apostle Paul got from God, he's telling you that you may understand my knowledge. Where is it located? In the mystery of Christ. Okay. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elder Dan Thompson will close us out in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you again, Lord God, for your greatness. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're the one and only true living God that's made all things. We thank you, Lord God, for the mystery of thy word. We thank you, Lord God, how you've made it known unto your people. We pray you continue to bless us, O God, that our understanding may continue to come open. Bless our leader, I pray, Lord Jesus. Give him strength and more knowledge and more wisdom. I got more understanding, I pray, Lord Jesus, to deliver the same to the people everywhere. Oh, God, we know and understand, Lord God, that there's no God like thee. My God, who's fearful in praise, oh, God, doing wonders. Oh, God, bless us continually, Lord Jesus, and give us strength. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.